Hello so guys, today I'm going to show you how you can fix can't connect to the wireless connection problem that some people have. Also guys, if you have problems during this video, if you can't fix it, you can go ahead and join error fix. So let's start off. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to settings. On settings, you want to go to general. On here, go to network settings. Now guys, if you have a problem, like if you can't test your network speed and statistics, it means that you need to go to advanced settings, but if you can do it, it means that your internet connection is really low, or you just need to restart your router. So let's go to advanced settings right now. On here you want to go to alternate MAC address. On alternate wireless MAC address, you want to do clear. And then it will just automatically restart. Don't worry guys, it won't delete like save data or anything like that. So you don't really need to worry about things like that. Now, let's go back to network settings. And let's talk about the test network and speed six. And I can't pronounce that. I'm sorry guys. So let's click on that. And by the way, guys, if you please can like and subscribe, thank you so much. You maybe get a little bit more luck by helping me out. So let's see our connection. And it takes a little bit of a while, actually. Now, here we have on download speed, we have about 6 megabits. And on upload speed, about 3. Latency is quite good actually but it can still get get like get better on wireless strength it's about 78 percent so six megabits or some people even have like with kbps and that's really bad so if you see anything with k it means that your internet connection is really bad and what can you do is you can connect a LAN cable or an ethernet cable and if you want to check that out i will leave a link in the description down below so you can check it out so why do you need that because your internet connection will get faster and sometimes guys i had this problem actually so once i connect my uh, connect to wi-fi i have a lot more problems than the LAN cable for example back in the day i used to play with wi-fi and for example on call of duty servers gta servers i had a lot of problems so what happened was everyone was lagging for me i first thought that it wasn't the internet, it was just the game itself. But after it was lagging really hard, I decided to connect my LAN cable. And I will even show you guys proof that LAN cable is gonna be better. So I'm just gonna co connect my LAN cable. Also guys, I'm gonna show you other methods too if you don't have a LAN cable or ethernet cable. But like you see on my screen right now, I just tested my internet connection with ethernet or LAN cable. And on download speed it actually increased on almost 50 megabits and on the upload speed about 4 megabits. On latency, our latency a lot lower right now so it's a lot better. And how do you know guys that I tested my internet connection with LAN cable? The reason why is you don't see a wireless connection percentage. So if you go back to the earlier testing internet connection of this video, you will see that it will have a percentage how great your internet connection is connected with your router but this doesn't have it. So let's go back and let's go to the other ways how you can fix this problem. Now, for the people that want to stick with Wi-Fi because they don't have a LAN cable or maybe it's just too far away from their router itself. So what you want to do is you want to go to your router itself and you want to unplug your router. So you just want to power it off or if you don't have a power off, you just want to unplug it. So after doing that, what you want to do is... After you unplugged your router or just powered it off, what you want to do is you want to go to your console itself and now you want to keep holding on the power button itself. So you want to keep holding till you see no more lights coming out. Just keep holding. 
and like you see you have no more lights coming out and that's no that's how you know that you did it correctly so after your router is turned off for about 5 to 10 minutes you want to turn it back on and then turn your uh, xbox one also on but you want to wait uh, like two minutes after turning back on your router itself so let's turn it back on and you should see this screen right now so I'm gonna show you guys what you should see if you see this screen right here the green screen with the Xbox one logo it means that you did it correctly because some people just press on the xbox one power button once and they think it's gonna work but you want to keep holding it guys that's the way how you can let it go to work so let's just wait and by the way guys if you please can like and subscribe thank you so much also let me know in the comments down below which method works the best for you to fix this problem So guys, so once your console turned back on, what you want to do is you want to go to settings. On settings, go to general and go back to network settings. And then what you want to do is you want to test network speed and statistics. And by the way, guys, if it still shows up that you don't have internet connection, it can happen because you just turned off your router and just turned it back on. It sometimes takes for some people about 15 to 20 minutes. Or for the most people, it just takes about 5 minutes to get back on Wi-Fi. And by the way, guys, if you please can like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Now, if you see something with a K on the download speed or the upload speed, it means that your internet connection is really bad. And I'm going to show you how you can fix that. Also, if you only have like one or two or just two, five uh, megabits, it means that you have pretty much bad internet connection. Mine on my screen, I have about enough internet connection like my download speed and upload speed are enough but if you have really bad so if it starts with a k or if it's like just one megabyte or two uh, megabits you want to go to advanced settings on here you want to go to dns settings and now go to manual and like you see i am already using a dns code you can also just copy it, uh, you can also pause the video if you want to. And just remember guys, these DNS codes don't work for everyone. So for example, this DNS code maybe work for the people that live in the United States, but not for the people that in, live in Europe. You just want to see it like this. So let's go to the secondary. And by the way, guys, these are free uh, use DNS codes, so you don't need to pay to let them go to use or something like that. So let's press on options again. Now, what you want to do is after filling it in, you want to go to back and you want to test your speed and statistics back again the reason why is you want to know actually if this dns code is helping you or if it gets worse if it gets worse you want to keep watching so let's go back to advanced settings and now let's go back to dns settings manual and now what you want to fill in is let's delete them first off so this is one of the best dns codes that you ever can use and that's it's gonna be all eight, eight dog, eight dog, eight dog, eight, like you see on my screen. Press start. And here the secondary DNS, it's gonna be eight, eight, four. Also, these DNS codes are free to use and also these are safe to use. 
remember that guys for example this atac atac 8 is from google free open dns you can even search it up if you don't uh, trust or just want to look up so here you have the secondary dns now also you can go ahead and test your speed and statistics back again and once you did that i also have the last dns code right now what you also can use and this is gonna be and what if you guys get better internet connection you want to keep using that dns codes and why do i show a lot of dns codes because not all of them will work out for you for example out of all of these three um dns codes that i showed you in this video maybe only just one will work out for you or maybe two of them so that's why so here you have the primary and let's go to the secondary here we have the secondary Now you can just go ahead and press on start, test your internet connection, but let's go back. So I want to show you something else guys that I actually showed you guys earlier. You can go ahead and join Adrofix on the Xbox on communities. And if you still don't have internet connection, what you can do is you can download the app, the Xbox app and join it from the clubs from there. You can also do that if you want and you can just ask some questions or if you still have a problem. So thanks for watching guys. Please like, subscribe and comment down below and take care of yourself guys. Goodbye.